Yes. So, um, but, all right, guys, uh, we're going to more. Even here, uh, you know, he's talking to uh, Oz for a while. On. Listen to R2P at the same time. It's not something, but we're in the middle of the town. Which I think is the fifth of the areas that we're going to, which I believe there are 12. Right, something like that um, around there uh, so, uh can you, well can you like come sleep in here with me uh, i'm by myself over here he's like uh no i'm sleeping in the right, floor so with, uh, with kylan um it's like oh three yeah. it's like uh you can come in you can come sleep with us i guess if you want and uh, she's like well what about you guys come over and sleep in here uh, and he's like fuck oh, okay that was just terrible yeah man, maybe i'll ask kylan if he wants to do that um but yeah not not me um but you can you can come you can come sleep over here. Uh, let me I'll I'll be I'll, let me just I'm gonna do my bedtime stuff. I'll I'll be back. Uh, and then when he comes back, he's like, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't really feel like finding Kylan right now, to be honest. Uh, so okay. look, you can come and sleep with us. Oh shit, there's five of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Everyone yeah, we're just blowing through the game because like, I think I, 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 I'm at the point where like I, I just want to finish it. We know we're very early on. Like uh. Very awkward to me because basically. He did everything but say, I kind of don't want to. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling that for us. Like, he's not gonna say that obviously because he thinks he's gonna manage it well. But rejection, rejection, and, and that was big rejection right yeah. there. That hurt. Like, you can't. You're in a house that's locked. You can't leave in here. You can't. Like, I'm not in the mood to find him. There's five rooms. You can find him in two right? minutes. Like, oh wait, that's right. not a valid reason. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, so she ends up joining Kylan and um, him in the bedroom, and they talk some more, and she's laughing with them again, so, uh, but still, I mean, Xavier, is it the same you got, you thing, lock, but, uh, Oz in, uh, we need to, like, here, go uh, up one here, um, he, fuck, uh, oh, fuck this game, that, like, no, go know, up, you been, fucking piece of shit, too, there because, we go. Uh, Alyssa, if Alyssa had stay, has stays, then it's seven people of color left in the game, uh, you just be like, hey, it's, we've, uh, look, it says seven people of color left in the game, um, and that's why, that's another reason why I listen to stay. Um, uh, and uh, the, 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 then, then it's, it's easy, it's easier to explain. And I mean, Wait, is it? <laughs> a lot of Twitter was like, "Where was this energy when DX was on the block, Xavier? Where was that?" <laughs> Again, this is that lawyer mind being put to work of like, how Wait, many other that? things can I find to justify my argument here to yeah. potentially get what I want? <laughs> okay. This is like it's yeah. really easy. Just like it's oh, actually like man. you were in such a good spot, and I just feel like you've slowly like chipped away at it, and for uh, what? For so... nothing. Like he did all of this to get in a worse spot when he gets at six. I hate that. I hate that for him. for how many weeks have we been like? Fuck! Oh my god, game. Now this final six is key for Xavier. He's still not in a bad spot, but he's. Oh, that was super fucking easy. And he may have been two weeks all right, ago, three that's weeks ago. It, the second not, one. Right? Uh, so that was that was pretty much the night there uh, on their end. Um, Tiffany's going to talk a lot with Claire and Hannah over the. So I assume I need one more. Talking to Hannah a bit right. about their end game plans, pretty much the same as they yeah. always have been. Two more probably. Continuing to lock them in, um, and uh, Tiffany understands oh, that she. Going one more. Uh, you know that the, oh, the, the more. guys are more. kind of upset, uh, and that she, you know, she kind of did a thing here mm -hmm. um, and she's like okay, oh, shit. I knew what I was taking on when I won the stage right. and, uh, oh shit you did it. all of them um, and uh, and this is the question that I asked last night which is you know this is theoretically great for Tiffany because she gets to uh, mm. keep Claire probably and then um, she can't win next week which means she's definitely competing at six uh, if Claire nah. wins oh well um, if anybody else wins Claire probably just goes home um, there's not a lot of uh, of, of downside in a theoretical sense, but in some ways, because it's such a good position, uh, everybody can see that it's a good position, and uh, they're not happy about it because of all this talk about who was supposed to win, and she has definitely lost some, uh, some credibility no. in the eyes of at least Xavier. Um, and uh, for me, this is like last night, I in the episode, Xavier's like, I want to go to the end with Tiffany and Hannah, and I was like, whoa! I can't believe he actually wants to go to the end with Tiffany and Hannah. And then, like, a couple of hours later, I was like, he's not going to want to go to the end with Tiffany and Hannah anymore. <laughs> oh, that was a brief ride. <laughs> yeah, I think that um, initially I was concerned with oh, Tiffany. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm looking at the guide now. I see all it. All I kept thinking about is what if Alyssa this, wins this, Tito, this, and, uh, this, and then... The reason Claire goes, that's going to be difficult for you, especially if you've decided 
I want to keep the lions. Oh, quiet, fuck off. That was my own fault. You know, after they all leave. But ultimately, it is very good for Tiffany specifically. Again, competing at six is great. Um, Claire winning is fine. That's good. And if there's anybody that can navigate the game and. Fix oh, my fucking God. The controls go are so along, fucking you know, bad. It's Tiffany. So I feel complete trust that she'll be able to be completely fine. I think ultimately winning two back to back and given that even though she was. Right. Deep, uh, they don't necessarily, you know, that anonymous HR don't really count. So what we're seeing is Tiffany won two in a row. That resume is starting to look a little stacked. Maybe they start looking at her. But again, I feel like if there's anyone that can course correct, it's Tiffany. So I feel completely fine with her position here. And I feel like Wait, she's going to no. be okay. Ultimately, yeah. I think Wait, this fuck. was a good win for her. And especially fuck off game. Was Kylan, I, I think, think we have to go there and then here. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, Jonathan here asks, uh, what if the uh, cookout wins HOH and Claire wins the veto next week, assuming that Claire is the two. would Tiffany be out then? Um, but, uh, I mean, that, again, that depends on who the yeah, HOH is, like, yes, um, probably, right? Because, um, if it's, uh, oh, no, he's gonna hit these. Big D, and I'm he puts up Tiffany and, uh, and Claire, and then Claire okay. wins yeah, the, it's uh, it's the it's veto, it's um, not... who does Big D put up? Next to uh, Tiffany, probably um, Anna, um, and then I do think that Tiffany would probably go home. Uh, even then, though, um, let's see. It's what seven, the so there's four votes. Uh, she would need three to stay if Big D wants to break the tie to evict her. Uh, Xavier's voting to keep Hannah, uh, but Claire votes to keep Tiff. Um, Kylan has left. Kylan, I think, I would up. vote to keep Tiffany, and um, and Aza would be the swing there. And I don't know where Aza goes. I mean, I think Aza leans Tiffany right now. She's she's still not the biggest Hannah fan. Um, yeah. I, I mean, unless Big D puts his foot down to Aza. Yeah. Do I, do I see? And then it's going to happen moment. in a double eviction. So. Right. Right. That would be mm. interesting. Uh, if if Xavier wins, um, he puts up Tiffany and Claire. Claire wins the veto. Um, Xavier probably replaces uh, Claire with. Either Aza or Kai. Um, if he wants to take Tiffany out, he puts up Aza. If he wants to take Kai out, he probably puts out Kai. Puts up Kai. Yeah. Takes Kai out. Because I still, even though he's pissed at Tiffany, I think he still wants Kai out first. Okay. Um, so he'd probably just take that shot at Kai. Um, if he did put Aza up, then it's still Hannah, Claire, um, then okay. Big B and Kai. Yeah, Kai would keep Tiffany. So I think it is still pretty hard to get Tiffany out next week unless she loses Kylan. Um, Fuck. and uh, and potentially Aza, um, Fuck. but um, but yeah, Damn, I, I what actually, the I fuck is this? I don't think it's a terrible spot for her. On the turn, and, um, you know, anybody else would be like yeah. uh, like if Anna won and she put oh, up Claire, uh, which I know Hans might not be fine. Claire, at that point, I don't think Kylan intends to put Tiffany next to Claire. Uh, he's got his own, you know, uh, so idea about building. how it should be. You know, Tiffany and somebody else, and then if Claire wins, then she pulls down Tiffany. And, so on and so forth. So, What's the last um, building? She's, she's fine heading into next week uh, in the event that, uh, like, her worst case scenario is Big D winning. Um, and then, even then, I think she might That's still fun. be safe. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 a pretty, it's a pretty fine spot. The, the biggest loss, I think, for Tiffany here is moving into the final, potentially final five situation where, you know, if, it, mm. which is what I always thought she was, but like, if they take out Big D first, and then Xavier wins at five, uh, then I know I actually still have to deal with Kylan. So he deals with Kylan first. If they take out, if if Kylan goes first, then she's the next target, which she already assumed. But uh, but she wasn't the next target prior to this, probably, unless she can win her way back in, and it was just a brief period of like people getting upset. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think ultimately my my takeaway from all this is that. She's making it to the six pretty easy, regardless of whatever happens night of the eviction, night of double eviction one. Uh, double eviction two will be interesting depending on who wins. So it's going to be very interesting. But like I said, I, we just did the mental exercise with how many votes could Tiffany have to stay. I think, and I think if anyone can just strengthen their position, it's Tiffany from the HOH spot, whereas we've seen quite a few people have the HOH spot and just tank their games or do horribly this season with their social capital. I feel like Tiffany's going to be fine. Um, she's in quite a few endgame plans. Uh, Kylan mentioned that uh, that's the true final two for him. 
uh, Xavier, you mentioned already, still looking at Hannah and Tiffany. That could oh. change situations are fluid here, but I feel like she's going to be all right. It's just a matter of now that she's won a couple competitions, does that bump her up the list, and does it become a situation where no matter how good her social game is, how well everyone sees her and appreciates her and wants to be at the end with her, they might think, I don't think I can beat you anymore, so you have to go. Yeah, I, I think this is very much like a, uh, a short-term gain for a little bit of a long-term loss. Um, now, the benefit to that kind of maneuver is that the short-term gain is right in front of you, immediate, and you can always repair the long-term loss um, and maybe even turn it into something that ends up working out for you. Um, but uh, but the danger is that the short-term gain for a long-term loss means that, you know, if you could have just wrote it out through this short-term rockiness, uh, turbulence, then you would have been uh, in a good spot long-term. Um, it reminds me of uh, John and Netta in Big Brother Canada 2, uh, where Netta really kind of puts her foot down um, in the end game to make sure that, uh, that her people stay a little oh, bit longer. Like um, and uh, that helps her okay, um, like in the short term else. to get to the end, but then John wins out anyway, and, you know, in part because of her putting her foot down, realizes I can't take the end like I thought I would. Um, so we'll see if this does any long-term damage to Tiffany, who was looking pretty good here. Um, you know, ultimately, honest, if, I, if I'm being honest, I, I feel like probably the call was not to win this for Tiffany, I think. Um, letting Claire go here was the better call, um, but uh, but that has never really uh, been Tiffany's uh, mo at this point. Uh, she I'll always likes that. to take the risk. Do the risk. So uh, we'll see where things go from here. Yeah, well, it's interesting because what was it about oh, what's a month in here? ago where she came up with the plan of having the pairs and having them the, a member of the cookout sit next to the non-member of the cookout, and initial and those initial blueprints, Claire was going out early. Claire was like first or second out in the jury. Um, so that's clearly changed. And a month ago, we looked at it. I had mentioned, especially on my uh, stock watch appearance, I had said, if she goes to the end with the cookout at six, I don't think that's the best spot for her to be in. Now, clearly, she's been doing a good job of maneuvering, getting oh, better. Did that, Here, man. it makes it complicated, but I feel like she's kind of back in where she began, where it's going to look tough for her at six moving forward. But again, I this, fully this trust building. Tiffany to be able to navigate out of it. It's just a matter of um, the resumes at that point and how many people are going to be like the resume over whatever I feel about you and think about you. I think my biggest thing would be um, if Tiffany was willing to take Xavier out at seven in the event of a Claire HOH or Vito, then I would say this is worth the risk because getting Xavier out that early would be amazing for Tiffany. But given that she wants to take out Big D first, um, if Claire wins that HOH in the double and puts up Big D and Xavier, or even Kai and Xavier, and... I'm kind of just confused uh, over where this if, is going. If Tiffany takes out Big D on a Claire HOH, and it's st still Kai and Xavier in the game at six with Claire, um, I don't love that for Tiffany. I mean, it's still better than the uh, Big D in the final six, um, but uh, I don't think that's enough of a gain for her. Um, if she was able to take out Xavier at seven and move into the final six with Claire, Big D, Kai, Aza, and Hannah, that would be worth, I think, the risk here. Um, but I don't know where I'm going. I don't know that that is her plan at this time. Um, I don't even know for sure that she would keep Kai over X if those were the two options. Um, I don't know if she'd have the pull to keep Kai over X if those were the two options. Um, so uh, if, if Xavier's not going to leave at 7 anyway, then I don't think that keeping Claire around is enough of a benefit to uh, to warrant the potential loss of social capital. I'm so confused six. over, like, um, where am I going? But if she's able to repair these uh, these wounds um, by the, uh, I mean, she's got a full week to, uh, to sit through this. Um, and, you know, people have a lot of time to cool down, um, you know, let Kai piss people off again, do whatever you need to do. 
uh, then she'll probably be fine and she'll have, you know, gotten a free win here. But uh, I, I don't know if it's worth uh, Personally, I don't think it was worth the risk. Well, we'll have to see how it plays out. Um, as I'm thinking about it now, and if Claire does win HOH during the first double, and Big D somehow wins the veto. Oh, that is the win now part of that? Right, because then potentially it's going to be Kai versus X, and one of them will leave, and that's better for her than if Big D leaves. Because the other thing is, is it, and remind me right now still, Claire has wanted Big D gone, obviously, because she sees Big D as someone who's just holding up a final two seat hostage right now, right, as the GOAT. That, yeah, but that um, was kind of like a, like a, a month ago. ago. Like, yeah. um, since then, she's been on Xavier. She wants Xavier out. Okay, so then if she wants Xavier gone, I could see her not putting Big D on the block, potentially, and throwing up an X and a Kyland, right? But, but yeah. I, wouldn't she have to worry? Because I think, I mean, if Claire is thinking, you know, smart, uh, <laughs> then... The hesitation. You know, uh... <laughs> Words. You know, if you put uh, Kai yeah, on the block, you it. know Oz is voting out Kai. Um, mm -hmm. You uh, you probably don't know whether Big D is going to vote out Kai or X, but she might assume that Big D would vote to keep Kai. Um, she maybe has to feel like uh -huh. Hannah. I guess if she feels like Hannah and Tiffany are on board with her, she just needs two votes and she can break the tie. Um, but uh, but you know, if she puts Big D on the block then uh, it's the same thing. As long as she has Hannah and Tiffany, she, it doesn't matter who she puts up next to X as long as she trusts their votes. Um, so uh, she, may not, she may not care at all. She may just go for the, you know, the least amount of blood, least amount of potential blowback, put Big D up on the block next to Xavier, and, uh, so and then when they take out now? Xavier, uh-oh, uh Big D's mad at me. Um, but uh, she might end up finding that, uh, that they end up voting Big D out instead of Xavier, uh, which I do think would be a mistake on their part. I want to, okay, so I want to, before we head on, because I feel like we're about to get to that point, we're in the spot right now where obviously this looks like an easy done, donezo week, looking at Tiffany won, Alyssa's the target, if she wins, Claire goes, that's fine, but I think there's a lot of interesting dynamics in the house that are very fluid. Like, we've said this from the beginning, the cookout are an alliance of six that are working together, but they are not very closely bonded and and happy with each other all the time throughout this season they've just not been so now we're going to start seeing those right. dynamics play out we saw oh, x yeah. last night being yeah. upset i think there's going to be a lot of that this week there's going to be a lot of people trying to move their pieces to try and be in a better position it's going to be five dimensional chess that's going to be fun the mm -hmm. permutations and combinations of the people that could end up winning the double and what that could mean is going to be great and then hopefully because i again my big ideal is i want to see all six of them standing at the end of the double eviction Thursday and just watch how they play for that week. I'm very curious to see how that goes. I feel like we never get this. We've always wanted this. Okay, so then once this happens, once the alliance gets there, the civil war begins. And I feel like we're finally in a position where we get to see that civil war in its completion. And I know if we get five out of six, that's still the civil war happening. But now I'm like, I want the whole yeah. cake. I don't want one slice gone. I want, give me the whole thing. I want to see how it play out. So I'm very, very, very excited for both the setup this week and what's coming next week. I feel like we're in we're in a good spot. We're going to be in a good spot for this week as far as content goes. I suppose. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, that's what I mean. That's what we have. Uh, obviously, the biggest thing that could happen here is if Alyssa wins the veto, um, we would have to see Tiffany turn on Claire. She talked to Hannah about it. Uh, she was like, well, I could tell t I could tell Claire that she's the best option to send Xavier home. And Hannah was like, I think I'm just going to be honest at that point. Uh, 1,000%. Right. It's going to suck. 1,000%. Um, and uh, that, would be, that, would, that would be not good for Tiffany's game, obviously, uh, to have to, uh, to take out Claire uh, herself. Not only because, uh, you know, I mean, it would suck for her to have to take out Claire herself, but also because it makes her look... Pretty bad. Uh, like, oh, you had to waste your HOH on your ally. Um, um, and that that's a bit of a backfire, huh? And now Alyssa's coming for you next week if she wins. Um, and you've got Xavier and Big D who are still pissed off at you. Uh, that's two votes that could vote you out with Big uh, with Alyssa breaking the tie. Um, it would not that was be just the bunker for Tiffany. But it it's probably the bunker. That would make sense. Uh, we do like good TV. I think so. Here's the other thing. The way they've set up the decision to not tell the jury any of this, right? That
that might add some problems. But it sounds like obviously we saw the segment last night, and you know, with people talking about how maybe DX got um, inception by a reporter to kind of know a little bit of this stuff. He, they're kind of piecing some stuff together. But I feel like in no world, if they, if Tiffany's the one who sends Claire home and also explains it to her i feel like claire can uh, lay out the fun, like tell the jury what's going on but i feel like that initial impact will be like whoa how did this happen so i'm very very keen to see how this plays out obviously tv is great um so i'm always going to be rooting for tv and still as long as the cookout's still all there i'm happy so if Alyssa wins i'm not particularly mad at it i would like to see how they decide to go about this because i want to know i want to see are we going to get a a moment where it's just Tiffany and Claire one on one, and she tells Claire everything, because then Claire's gonna leave that room and be like, "Yo, everyone here fooled me. Everyone here, like, and then who, who is she gonna like? That there's no campaigning to be done at that point. She, well, what, it, what is she gonna do? The whole thing is out at that point. Uh, yeah. They they said so, like that Alyssa will find out, but. Who, who cares at that point? Claire's going home. Alyssa, it'll be us against Alyssa, which is their best shot, actually, because Alyssa would ret- probably retaliate against Tiffany if uh, under regular circumstances. But if Alyssa finds out that it's literally Fuck her off. versus the rest of the house, including Xavier, uh, then does she really waste time still going after Tiffany? Or, like, I mean, at that point, uh, she probably does. I mean, like, what do you even do? do? We've never seen somebody in this situation before where it's like, yeah, literally, it doesn't matter who you think you're aligned oh. with. It doesn't matter who you target. Just goes if you here. take out one of us, the, the other five are still coming after you. At that point, if, if if Alyssa does win, she just has to put up Kyle and Xavier as the two biggest comp threats. Uh, and like, oh, I didn't realize okay, this was one a puzzle. of you is down, now my chances are a little bit better in the final six veto. Like, uh, but I don't know that she can. I don't know that she can even get there. Man. Um, you know, like, uh, that's such a strange place to put yourself in a game with the brother. Yeah, and I mean, we saw yesterday how, again, I mentioned Alyssa was a little bit checked out. I, it'll be interesting if, if, you know, obviously if Claire finds out, then Alyssa finds out via Claire or through the house just being open about everything. I don't know if that's going to, you know, put a fire in her belly to like... Have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did? That's of any use to us in our future. Yeah, so this is side content from what I'm saying. But. That the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people. And so, by a backhanded, upside down argument, was predicted that there is in carbon a level of 7.82 million volts. And then experiments in the laboratory with carbon show indeed that there is. And therefore, the existence in the world of all these other elements is very closely related to the fact that there is this particular level in carbon. But the position of this particular level in carbon seems to us, after knowing the physical laws, to be a very complicated accident of 12 so not complicated one. particles of interaction. So I used to illustrate oh, I think you have to go by this example that an understanding of the physical laws does Might as well just do these, like, um, there's, at least I have the guy in front of me. I'm just gonna do them all. So it's absolutely simple. What I have to say to you. Whatever. Alright. Um. 
ますが。looking at all the puzzles. Alright, for, so, I don't know, this one's still not in the thing that I'm seeing, so. Oh, I even fucking see it. Okay. This is, I think this is one of them that we need to do. supposed to find a solution to this, but whatever. Okay. So this is the green one. Leads up to this. Okay. So this makes a bit more sense. Shit. Fuck this game. How am I supposed to actually be solving these? one damn it there 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 up 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 across there down on and up there we go what did I miss here This one, okay. Oh, sure, are there more things? I 
one's still dark. Well, this one, this one is... And that's pretty much a nothing thing though, right? Oh. Oh, do I just... Uh... Am I supposed to hit this aim this towards the mountain? There we go. Interesting. Um, yeah, I guess we're supposed to go back here though and just do this in different ways. Um, Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you can see there that yeah, they're connected through this one box. Okay, that makes a lot more sense then. Um, That's right. this one Actually supposed to be solving these though, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I don't get like the actual like how you're supposed to know this. Fuck off. Uh game. Right, so I think that's the final one. Five. 
Are we at time wise? Oh, we're at 30 minutes. Sorry. Right, okay. Um, I guess one's here. Uh, I guess next episode we'll figure out where we have to go. Um, because I actually don't know. Uh, I guess probably back here. I would assume it's that way. Um, I like down there. Uh, but yeah, one's here though. Next episode, uh, continue on. I don't think we're watching.